Hello, my name is Manisha and I'm the founder of Ananda Permaculture Project and I'm back today after a very very long time with another video for you. Let me begin by apologizing for this inordinate delay but many of you know that I've been occupied with building a sustainable house which is no easy feat especially because a lot of experimentation and new things are being done here. So that's really taken up a lot of my time but the good news is that my project is almost over and I should be able to put out videos for you on a more regular basis. Given that monsoon is already upon us, it is only apt that we make a video on rainwater harvesting. Now you've seen many rainwater harvesting videos from me about how to manage water in the gardens. You've seen how we build swales, ponds, pools, slow down the flow of the water, spread it over our land and soak it into the ground. An essential part of a sustainable house is to be able to live off rainwater for your personal consumption. Now you might not be aware at how much rainwater you can actually harvest and the sheer volume of water that you're getting on your rooftops which unfortunately are basically going down the drain. So a simple formula for you to calculate how much rainwater is falling on your rooftop is as follows. Take the surface area of your roof in square meters, multiply it by the average rainfall in your area on an annual basis in millimeters and multiply it with the runoff coefficient of the material used on your roof. I did this maths for my rooftop and I was absolutely blown by the amount of water that I could possibly get from my roof every year. So for my roof, the calculation yielded 250,000 liters of water annually, way more than I would need for my consumption. The limiting factor in using this rainwater is going to be the size of the water tanks, especially so in areas like ours, where it rains only for three or four months in a year and the rest of the time is dry. If you're in a tropical area, you will probably get rain for a longer period of time and therefore you'll be able to store this water over a six month period and may not need very large water tanks. Well we calculated and discussed like what size of water tanks should we make because you know there is a threshold beyond which the water tanks don't make sense anymore as they become too expensive. Uh, so given our volume of water we've actually built water tanks to the capacity of about 60 to 70 thousand liters. So now every time it rains, this is what happens to our rainwater. It travels on the surface of our roof, finds its way to the gutter. The gutters then descend to the ground level and meet in many interconnecting chambers. From here, they get pooled together into one of the two filters that we've built before the water enters the rainwater harvesting tank. These filters are basically simple structures made with gravel and a biotextile like a coir mat. I have used the same coir mat that I used to line my ponds a decade ago. So uh, layer, layering of pebbles and the coir uh, end up building a filter where the water actually seeps in first and then only the clean water rises to the top and enters into the rainwater harvesting tank. Once the rainwater harvesting tank is full, we pump this water into the triple tank which is our larger water tank from where it services the overhead water tanks. Remember to build an overflow in all your water tanks because you'll be surprised at how much water you will get and you have to provide an escape for it in the eventuality that it overflows. We've taken our overflow pipe right up to the pond uh, behind me and we can also see it overflowing into the pond and that gives us an idea of the yes our water tanks are now full. So this is a very important thing that all of you could consider doing given that we are 
headed towards times where water is going to be a scarcity our dependence on municipal algae water and the bore well water is actually too much and we must build some self reliance in terms of our water needs so why don't you calculate the surface area of your roof uh, multiply it by the average rainfall that you get in your area in millimeters and then multiply it by a runoff coefficient which you can safely assume is anything between 0.8 or 0.9 and tell me how much rainwater you get on your rooftops every year leave that number in the comments below and also leave a note on what you think you could possibly do to start harvesting this water and use it for your personal needs or even to irrigate your garden i hope you found this uh, video useful and uh, have forgiven me for this inordinate delay in uh, putting out a video well the good news is that i've learned how to shoot this video all by myself with the help of a tripod so i'll be able to put out more videos for you shortly so stay tuned uh, subscribe to our channel if you've not done that already and do share this with others so that more and more people can start harvesting the rain water from our rooftops and build water self sufficiency so much from me thank you for watching and see you again very very soon bye bye